Well, Vin Cotter, as far as I know, was made many years ago, back in the Roman times, as a way of preserving their wines. And then in southern Italy, the Italian ladies wanted a way of using a sweetener because they couldn't afford sugar and honey. So they knew if they took the grape must, reduced it to a lovely caramelised syrup, they would then use it in their baking. And it was renowned for... Vin Cotto is a beautiful condiment, as it is on its own. What you can do is you can use it in salads. So you can, if you make a, a walnut, and a rocket salad, you can drizzle the vincotto. Just remember that vincotto is a concentrated product, so you just need to use it sparingly. If you like sweets, so you can drizzle vincotto over ice cream or mascarpone cheese, or if you like to make a lovely ricotta cheesecake, you can use vincotto within the cheesecake. Fantastic. It gives you that raisiny flavour, and even with meat marinade. So now that summer's here and you want to do a nice barbecued leg of lamb, you just marinate as you normally would with the olive oil and your herbs, and you put some vincotto on it, keep it in the fridge overnight, and you have a beautiful flavour. Vincotto does not have the acidity taste because there's no mother vinegar added to it. So therefore, it's so versatile, you can use it for sweets and for savoury.